Hi, I'm Marley from Our Protection Dogs and our first week with Billy has come and gone and we have been religiously filming our training for you. So we've put uh, together a little compilation of what we've been doing with our puppy for his first week. So I'll be running you through the obedience and what I did with him and then Charles will run you through the protection work and what uh, the skills is he's been teaching him. Uh, we're fortunate in the fact that we can work our puppy almost every day in protection work which normal people don't have the privilege for that. They might go to club or training once a week, which is also fine. It's not a train smash. The only thing I would advise is not to do so much obedience like I did, uh, because I can easily balance uh, the amount of obedience I do with him to the amount of bite work. And so obedience and protection uh, teaches the dog two different things. The obedience being to very, be very focused on the handler, to be sensitive to what the handler wants, to get rewards from the handler, and then your protection skills he needs to do on his own he needs to focus outwards towards the decoy so if you do not do so much protection work like we do do not overdo the obedience so much that like the same way we did so we also it depends on puppy from pu puppy to puppy uh, Billy is very easily gets turned on by the bite work and we're very happy with that so then we will do obedience if we were struggling at all with his uh, protection work we would lay down the obedience because obedience can always be taught uh, it's important for us in the first 12 weeks is the protection skills uh, they call that the imprinting phase so we want to make sure that he can doesn't matter where he is what location uh, that he will do the protection work and not be worried about where I am his handler or who the decoy is on the other side. So even though at this moment in time Charles is doing most of his protection work that will change eventually. Um, you can't do your protection work for your puppy. Ideally you don't want to do that but he uh, likely for Billy he also goes to club training so the decoys they work him and uh, January who works with us he also works him besides his training billy is also getting socialized very well he's spending time in the house he's being crate trained he's driving in a vehicle he's meeting new people he goes to club training so we're trying to give him as much exposure to the outside world as possible so even at this point we have not decided if billy will be a psa dog for sport or if he's going to be a personal protection dog uh, we like to uh, <laughs> train them almost like PSA style if I can call it that like we will do the attention healing because uh, even if he's a personal protection dog for a family one day he will uh, it's always nice to have attention healing I mean who doesn't want that kind of obedience and it also gives us the chance to to experiment with some new things and teach them some new new uh, behaviors and or teach them in a different way so we like to do that as well. So in his protection work, our skills are the same if it's for uh, a sport or for personal protection. What's most important at, in his first year now is teaching him bite work skills and grip, pushing, uh, seeing different decoys, distractions, data sticks, bottle curtains, all those kind of stuff. So it doesn't matter if he's going to be a, a BPD or a sports dog, all that stuff will stay the same. So if you have not done so already, please like and subscribe this video and then let's go see what Billy did for his first week. This is the first day with Billy. The first thing we just wanted to teach him is to follow the hand so we can get the luring going because if he follows the hand, we can do anything with his little body. So that was the most important thing. You can see I'm luring him to a cert. Going backwards, going forwards. This is the second day and already he's much more uh, confident in what he's doing. He knows where the food's coming from. It's coming from my hand. We also teach Billy his name and it's quite important for me like if I call him he needs to come so I'm just it's all just luring just teaching him the movements and to follow my hand 
so here he is uh, doing it much faster now much more confident he knows exactly what's going to happen and what to do to get the treats at this stage we also introduced the clicker as we decided we would like to click clicker training as well or some skills we want to teach him later on so he is also here on the clicker so he can do the sit he can do the down now all with luring all with positive reinforcement only thing we add at this uh, time is the stand and then we also taught Billy what heel is or where his place is because that's a very important command and he will be spending a lot of time there so this is almost a week later this was the saturday where we started the monday so already he's much more confident in these little behaviors that we've been teaching him so he's only knows a few basic things luring sitting downing all with lure stand with lure coming into heel sitting next to me at heel position and our sessions are very short if it's five minutes long it, <laughs> then it's long and we also did some fun stuff like just teaching him to go through the tunnel or part of our socialization you're using a flirt pole with a leather rag in the front and the reason why we're using the leather it's slippery and the dog our puppy really has to bite hard to hold on to it as you can see we're walking backwards we're trying to get the pup to counter counter means that he gets a better deeper grip on the item in this case the leather rag as you can see he's using his back teeth he's pulling as we move backwards the counter comes very quickly and we reward by him winning it constantly keep on touching the puppy everywhere belly bones needs to be touched so you can get uh, basically uh, used to all the touching and picking up and all sorts of stuff that's going to happen in later in his career so bite work or the first couple of weeks of bite work is not merely just pulling something around and the dog chasing it and biting into it uh, it is done with all sorts of skills bite work skills that the dog's going to need or the pup's going to need later in its life we also start introducing things now like the bottle curtain a sail uh, bite arm the cones a lot of dogs get uh, don't like the cones or get a fright by the cones when they see them the first time we're doing the bite work now with little billy see now how he pushes in forward and when he counters these are all things that we work on and it takes long to work on this for the pup to understand that what we need from him that there's actual ways and means of doing bite work and it's not just going out there slogging left and right there's reasons for doing everything so the sky is the limit over here yeah i'm picking him up because he will be picked up in the sport or might be picked up in, as a ppd when he has to protect somebody so it doesn't matter what happens he needs to bite at all time here billy bones are working indoors on a slippery floor yet again the different sounds different places yeah we're introducing the clatter stick one of the a lot of the in, in psa one of the uh, distractions or weapons that gets used the most is a clatter stick it's also one of my favorite uh, items to use in building up a pup it makes a lot of noise and at this stage Billy Bones is getting really better with everything that we want from him the pushing the countering he has also now a new decoy one of the decoys on Saturday half dressed in a suit the game stays the same him chasing the flirt pole as you can see the decoy also waits for the puppy to counter and once he counters he gets to win the, the item you can also see that billy is also used to the back pressure we start early for the dogs to get used to the back pressure so it doesn't it's not uncomfortable for them to do their bite work with the back pressure
so i hope you enjoyed our little video of billy's first week with us uh, like as you can see it's small steps uh, little behaviors that we're working on uh, we've got some things that we've that's important to us that we want him to know within 12 weeks like i've mentioned before so that is really really simple little things that we've started teaching him these small little things that we're doing uh, will be very important for us at the later stage so we're laying the foundation now as we know what we're going to need later or what's important to us so that is the most important little things we have started teaching him if you would like some help with your training or would like to speak to us personally about your dog please have a look in the description below for our email address you can email us and we are more than willing to help you on a zoom session so contact us and we can set something up anything related to obedience or protection is more than welcome then we are also busy setting up a patreon account uh, where there will be extra videos more advanced little skills that we're teaching billy uh, how-to videos that will be there so once that's up and running we'll let you guys know and check that out we would love for your support so we can keep on bringing some more and better content for you guys then tune in next week to see how we are progressing with billy and what he's up to but for now cheers